Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you the new cleanup recommendations in Windows 11. That's right, Microsoft has improved their drive cleaner. <laughs> Just kidding. It sucks. But we're going to show it to you anyway. Most people move to their own drive cleaners. I'm going to stop you right here. Best freeware drive cleaners. If you want, follow the link in the video tutorial or in the video description. And watch our video where we compare CCleaner, Wise Disk Cleaner, and Privisor, my personal favorite, all together with links. Save you a lot of trouble. But hey, let's take a look at it anyway. We're here, right? Let's do it. So, we're going to click on Start. And we're going to click on Settings. And then we're going to click on somewhere over here Storage, which I really don't know why Drive Cleaner goes under Storage. I mean, I kind of get it, but. So we wait. It's going to figure out how much space is being wasted, as you can see. And then we're going to look at any files they recommend you can clean. So here's your temporary files. Here are your apps and features, which as you can see is kind of the same as the disk cleanup that was in Windows 10. But you can find the actual recommendations right down here. And weirdly enough, which I, I just don't get it. So we have larger unused files. You'd have to go through us. Here's temporary files. Here's your downloads, your recycle bin. So this is stuff that they recommend you can clean. They just don't recommend it by checking it on by default. So they're really not recommending it. They should call it cleanup suggestions, cleanup possibilities. No large files. Files sync to the cloud. I don't have cloud set up here, so your mileage will vary. Unused apps. Oh, there's finally, there's something you can use. Get that out of here. I don't use it. And that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. So... Now that we're here, don't you notice you can't get back either? Storage. There we go. So really you could do a lot more by kind of skipping the cleanup recommendations, going right to the apps and features, which for whatever reason is pulling 3.7 gigs and not that often use install installation of Windows. So that's quite a bit of room. And 364 megs of temporary files out of, as you can see, I only have a 20 gig hard drive in my virtual machine. So that's that's a pretty good chunk. We're heading into 20% or so. Oh, God, I hope I'm close in that so I look really smart. Be like, oh, my God, how do you know it was 20% that quick? All right. So once again, I'm just ready to kill the video off. I mean, your apps and features, it drags all over the place. You can't get back. We're not even in the same spot anymore. You click into one place and you're gone. It's just horrible. Just terrible. And you think, you know, the Windows 11, look at these beautiful, we centered the icons and rounded the corners. But our drive cleaner still stinks. Which is something everybody should use. So let's try it again. Apps and features. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I gotta be honest with you, I thought they were temporary files. So it's not... So the <laughs> All the space being used on the drive that I'm using in my so-called... You know, storage space. Just tell me how much space I'm using for my apps. Oh, God, you guys are terrible. I mean, show more categories. Look, just get out of the thing and, and get something else. This is horrible. It's the most unintuitive thing out there. I've seen drive cleaners written by first-year college students. Forget I'm sorry. I apologize to college students. Middle school to early high school written that do a better job than this. It's just, I'm getting out of it. So here's how to use cleanup recommendations in Windows 11. Don't get a drive cleaner. I like Privisor. It's cool. CCleaner. I've done this for people a million times. Real quick. CCleaner. Conservative. Safe. Well-known name. Probably one of your safer bets. Wise Disk Cleaner. Never had a problem with it. Cleans probably double what CCleaner uses. Double. Privisor. Man, Privisor goes nuts. It just cleans everything. And once again, it's on my daily driver. I run it about once a week. Never had a problem. It is cool. And anybody that didn't rate it five stars is wrong. Pure e id. Some things you can stand behind. Some things you can't. Some things you know about. Some things you don't. Privisor is the winner in the game out there currently at the time of this video. It takes a little longer to run, but you'll appreciate it. So there you have it. How to not use cleanup recommendations in Windows 11. Good job, Microsoft. Thanks for watching, as always, everybody. See ya.